Michael Krawitz and Mary Lynn Mather here for Veterans for Medical Cannabis Access. Today we were up here at the Capitol Hill. We met with a couple of elected representatives um, in our ongoing pursuit to uh, meet with the elected representatives that are in a position of authority over the VA and uh, try to uh, see if we can't you know, find some common ground as we move forward and try to find uh, policy that will help veterans get good access to cannabis. Uh, today we met with a representative for Congressman Griffith uh, in the morning and we met with a representative for Senator Webb in the afternoon and uh, both individuals basically with the same mandate that is to sensitize them to the fact that veterans benefit from cannabis in a unique way and that uh, we could start the dialogue, the ongoing dialogue we hope that will lead to a policy uh, that will be beneficial for veterans. Uh, this problem that we see of, uh, as Al Byrne calls it, treatment by geography has to end. A veteran in Oklahoma has to be treated with the same respect with regard to medical cannabis as a veteran in Colorado or a veteran in Montana. Uh, there's no, absolutely no reason uh, for, the, for the status quo that would uh, deny access to veterans just simply because of the state that they live in. Uh, today our meetings were very cordial and we presented some facts and uh, uh, hopefully uh, we can you know, develop uh, more of a, of a relationship as we move forward. Uh, Mary Lynn Mathry, uh, addictions nurse and uh, uh, representative also of Patients Out of Time, uh, accompanied me today on these meetings. And uh, perhaps you have a couple of thoughts that you'd like to share about, about the meetings and uh, what we can hopefully expect from, from these uh, representatives. Yeah, I think, it's, and especially uh, Senator Webb's office, uh, you know, I, I think our main target there was knowing that as a veteran himself, he could you know, have a heart and, and understand the veterans' issues. Cannabis as medicine is, you know, great medicine for many, many people, many issues. But when it comes to veterans, these wars especially are are different in that so many patients are coming back, uh, so many veterans are coming back with traumatic brain injuries, the type of weaponry over in Iraq, Afghanistan, now more so <coughs> Afghanistan. But uh, whether it be traumatic brain injuries, uh, loss of limb, or especially, and I should say especially, post-traumatic stress. Cannabis is just a wonderful, safe medicine for veterans, and we really wanted to, to get that message across, that the science is there to support it. Now with the VA directive, we've got veterans in some states who can have can use cannabis if it's a medical cannabis state, uh, but those in the other states can't, and this is a really, really big issue. Um, basically, also let them know that uh, we have the resources for them to uh, go forward if they want, if they want to pursue this issue. And I think that's an important fact that we can help these uh, representatives understand is the uh, fact that you know this is something that isn't just yet another drug that is piled on top of other drugs and just has another drug effect. That this is a targeted medicine that works specifically on certain symptoms and that is why these uh, veterans are using it why they feel that it's important. And that may seem like an extremely nuanced point, but it's a very important point that they need to recognize that this isn't just about fairness, this isn't just about uh, you know, access uh, for people that have a legitimate excuse. This is about people that are medicating uh, a specific problem with a, sp a specific medicine. And uh, that is a key, I think, for them to be able to, to, to make policy. They need to understand the reason why we're here and I think that the endogenous cannabinoid receptor system is, is a key because if we can help them understand uh, and look into that system, it takes them away from the ocean of misinformation that exists on the web and it gives them a little bit of insight into why this is important, why uh, a, a veteran that would be able to access just about any medicine, any drug in the pharmacy would find that this is important enough to make a fuss about. Uh, it, there's only one reason and that's because it works and provides some benefit to the veterans that all those other medicines don't. And in fact it works well with those medicines uh, in conjunction and that's why we see this as an issue you know relating to pain contracts and drug testing etc because the veterans are using cannabis together in conjunction with the medications that they're getting from the pharmacy and as such uh, the only interaction that we're having trouble with isn't a drug to drug interaction but a drug to drug policy interaction. So that's what we're trying to, to cure. That's exactly it. These, these injuries, the neuropathic pain, loss of limb, phantom limb pain as, as we call it, is very hard to medicate. Uh, the opiates, if you use large enough doses, it dulls the pain, but it dulls the, the veteran. Um, from 
you know, from just thinking clearly, acting clearly, safely. Uh, whereas cannabis, through the endocannabinoid system, works to directly to help with that pain, to, to let the body, kind of tell the body, you know, your limb is gone, the pain is not there anymore, it's not real, and stops that, that signal from happening. Um, with the traumatic brain injuries, to literally help the healing of the brain post an injury uh, and help them to return more to the, to the veteran they used to be prior to the injury. Uh, and we, we said earlier, post-traumatic stress disorder, you need to medicate multiple symptoms. The veterans aren't sleeping, the nightmares are terrible, flashbacks are terrible, depression, uh, anxiety, uh, you know, just so many different things that, that they have problems with and just fitting into society and feeling safe in society. And this helps calm them, helps them sleep, helps them feel more normal and, and actually interact with people again. Very, very important for them.